Hello everybody, so Jay the Builder here. Uh, today we are actually going over the new TIE Bomber that came out on New Year's Day. Yes, we just bought it, we're a little behind, but you know, uh, as everything goes, at least we're doing it now. So in this certain set, uh, number 75347, uh, yeah, roughly 625 pieces, but the cool part is, check out the minifigs that are coming on it. <clears throat> so you got Admiral, Dorothy of course, the TIE Bomber pilot, and a droid, but still. Uh, the set looks really cool, so on this set, we're probably going to do speed build and attach it to it, and then we'll go through some of the things at the end of the video, so that way you always kind of know what you're getting into if you buy this set.
All right, everybody. So here it is, finished. The Thai Bomber for 2023. Um, I'd say probably about an hour and a half. It took build time. But the cool part is there was not a lot of issues. Uh, there was no issues with pieces, no issues with the book. Nothing like uh, what we see with the Jazz Club where there was a glitch or whatever was going on with it. But this build was actually pretty fun. Pretty quick also. Uh, made it very interesting and some concepts that uh, we were used to seeing in some of the ships. Uh, I personally enjoy a lot of the Star Wars ships only because of the detail and the fact that they look really cool. But it kind of gets you started. Of course, Darth Vader. Uh, he came with the set. You also got these two mini figs right here. Along with the cart that carries the payload. And, as always, Jay the Builder hanging out inside the ship. This particular ship, besides that, has two, uh, several weapons in it. Uh, one right there in the center. So those two cannons actually do fire green pieces. I don't want to press it because they uh, end up going everywhere in the room. And as you know, we're going through some construction. So I really don't want to go looking for pieces today. Also, if you notice on the top, there's that little square. It has four dropped missiles. So that I can show. All you do is press it down, and as you press it, it drops straight down. Um, if it's in the air, of course, it comes out the bottom. But cool part is, it is right there, um, and they can easily go right back in. So uh, maneuverability as far as what the parts can do, uh, they do flap, so you can go straight or you can go curved. Uh, a lot of different pieces and a lot of cool pieces to it. So um, very cool build. Like normal, Star Wars, so um, some of the pieces are uh, linked to a lot of uh, uh, hooks and and bars. So other than that, man, it's pretty, pretty straightforward. Like I said, no big issues. Awesome build. Awesome, awesome looks. Um, as you turn it around, of course, thrusters on the back. Standard detail of what we normally see. But very, very fun. Very, very quick build to do. Uh, pretty good idea, especially for kids. Um, me being a Lego nerd and a Star Wars nerd, of course, we have ships that are flying around the room anyway. So uh, it kind of just goes along with the collection. Um, as always, guys, if you have any comments, please feel free to leave them up on our board. We are continuing our Star Wars set. We got a few more sets that we're going to get this year for Star Wars ships. Um, it's going to hopefully fill up the sky that we got until we can figure out what we're going to do with all of them. But um, by all means, please like, subscribe. Uh, if you like these, of course, we also do the vlogs for the room, which we're going to be posting this week. So uh, we'll see you then. Thank you.